Now, not everyone here in our area is happy about the Westminster town be being in town. The annual dog show drew protesters from PETA today. They're taking issue with the inclusion of breeds with flat faces on the basis of health. News 12's Nadia Galindo explains. Their signs read bread to suffer, a message from PETA protesters who gathered on Main Street in Terrytown, where the Westminster Kennel Club dog show is held. The group is taking aim at brachycephalic breeds that have flat or smush faces. They are bred to have grotesquely exaggerated features that results in um, a lack of ability to breathe. Ashley Byrne with PETA says these American Kennel Club standards encourage deformities in dogs like Pekingese, Pugs, and the ever so popular French Bulldog. The result, she says, is costly health problems and suffering. And it's these health concerns that PETA says is causing them to call on the Westminster Kennel Club to exclude these breeds from their annual dog show. They become fashionable and in demand and breeders will breed dogs that have increasingly exaggerated um, shortened faces. Some people disagree with PETA's assessment. The pugs that I know have been great dogs and uh, didn't seem to mind that their noses were short. Others who stopped by the protest say it served as an opportunity to spread awareness about the health problems caused by breeding these dogs. It's just a seed, but that's what activism is all about, right? Planting those seeds. A seed PETA hopes will help stop suffering. In Terrytown, Nadia Galindo, News 12. Now, we reached out to the Westminster Kennel Club, but they said, well, they have said that they have no comment. The cost of everything is going up right now, and now inflation is hitting pet owners, forcing some to surrender their pets to local animals.